YouTube, what's going on today, man? It's your boy, Justin Reds. I just want to give you a quick idea of how to set your UI up, your user interface for when you're cruising around in RLS career mod. Let's get right into it. So first things first, you're going to go into UI apps right here. Make sure you're in career free roam or just stick in career free roam. Make it easy on everybody. Let's go to add app. First things first. Um, I like to add a map so I know where I'm going all the time. Look up navigation or you could just find it. It comes with the game. I like to put mine down here. You might be like, I don't know, dude, that looks like it's kind of in the way. Just move the vehicle keys up. They're not always in use. Tasks, this will pop up uh, during missions and stuff like that. Tell you like, oh, you need to drop this many things off at this place, this many trailers at this place, whatever. Use the uh, race time display, and uh, I think it's also a countdown. That's the one behind it. These come just, they should be right here. Leave it alone. That's for when you jump into like time trials and whatnot, or UI races. Uh, messages, this is like, uh, if you evade the police, you, you sold your dash cam footage right here. Your Pessima just got repaired. Like that's what sort of things pop up there. Um, and let's see so we got a map uh next thing that is important is to know if you are in trouble with the 5-0 with the police i like to move my vehicle damage up a little bit here put the police down here in the corner you could do whatever you want put it wherever you want this this tells you are they chasing me or are they chasing the uh ai traffic because sometimes they do that um super useful to have Another thing on that note is knowing the speed limit. The speed limit UI is a mod. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's in the repository. So the easiest thing to do, pop up your little Google or whatever, and just search BMNG speed limit. Boom. First thing right here. Uh, simple speed limit 1.6 just hit subscribe it'll just pop it right up in your mods menu for you okay um and then it should be here in your mods manager there it is simple speed limit another while we're here this one is in the repository just look up the word simple come to simple power weight ratio hit this little little arrow make sure you're subscribed to it it will also pop up here in your mods manager now you have simple power weight ratio those are all the the mods i have for ui like that's it it makes it very simple okay so now that we have those we're going to add them let's look up speed or speed limit look at all these speed limit signs uh these things pop in real real random like so you're gonna have to look for a second okay i like to put mine right here um it's a, it's a good thing to have. I like to make it a little bit bigger. You could change the size of all these just by clicking this little arrow. You click this one in the middle, you can move it around. It likes to lock in the middle. It does not like to lock on top of other apps. It makes it nice and easy for overlapping. I think that's an option. Sometimes they do like to click. I don't want to overcomplicate things, but put this wherever you want. I like to put it down here next to the police. Like these go hand in hand. If you want to change the sign or like the way this looks, you come down here, you left click. Gives you this nice simple see-through one. If you're if you live out of the United States, gives you a different whatever uh sign design. And then if you want to change from miles per hour to kilometers per hour, you right click. Okay? So now I'm dialed on that and good to go. Um, one last, the last thing is that power to weight ratio thing that I mentioned. I'm sorry. We're going to go back to add app under UI apps and, uh, season under simple. No. Oh, this one's weird. It's got a weird zip file to it. So you're just going to look up these four letters, P R O J four sevenths of the word project. It's big green power ratio. There we go. It's also hiding down here in the bottom left hand corner for me. I don't know where it's going to pop up for you, um, but I like to put that one right here above the map. That's where I'm used to looking. I don't know like that. Just put it over there. OK, and um, so now um, I think this is pretty set up. If you like to know your orientation like I do, 
I like to I like to add a compass. This is the old school like Call of Duty player in me. Just being able to give call outs. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I like for some reason I like to know which direction I'm facing. I like to just put this. This is called the precision compass. But it will tell you your directions when you're walking around or if you're in the car. See, we got south. You know how directions work. Work east, north, west. Bingo. All right. Now let's get in a car. And is there anything different? I mean, I just want you to see like all this stuff popped up together, so you're comfortable and you have an idea of of what it kind of should look like. So you're in the car. You've got a boost gauge. You got your on-off button. Um, tack. This is your fuel gauge right here. The blue line. This is your coolant temp. The red line. Now we have a map over here. We've got our simple simple power to weight ratio. The only number I really care about over here is the horsepower. Um, you can concern yourself with these other numbers. I mean, this is weight in kilograms. I'm American. I don't know how kilograms work, dude. Um, okay, this, like I said, this tells you if you're being chased or not, if you're evading the police, how many stars you have, how aggressive the police are going to come after you, if they can see you or not, and if you're being arrested. It also have, has a few more things pop up down here, like if you're speeding, it'll tell you offense, speeding, offense, wrong, wrong direction or something, I don't know. If you're on the wrong side of the road, the police will light you up for that, okay? Um, so also the speed limit sign will change as you're cruising around the map. I don't want to take the time to get out of the city because I'm pretty sure it's all the same 30 mile an hour speed limit. But when you when you get on the highway, it'll say like 60 or 70, depending on where you're at. So, you know, if you see cops, you need to slow down. Um, all right. I think that's it. It's going to it's a nice, simple, easy one. Um, also, if you are just starting in your career mode, uh, I'm assuming you're, you don't have a car like I do here. The best place to look for a car where they are not going to charge you uh, sales tax or any shenanigans. Don't worry, the game isn't frozen. If it, it, it pauses here for a second every time if it's loading in new vehicles. This refreshes every, every 15 minutes, I believe, 15 or 30. Just scroll down to the bottom, come to trusted auto sales, and the price you see here is the price you pay. So if you had, if I had enough money, I could buy this and know that I'm not getting charged the 7% sales tax or any sort of dealership fee. All the dealerships have separate fees. For instance, if you have some mods installed, you're gonna have this other import section. I'm sorry, miscellaneous import section. You'd be like, wow, this half of a Pessima is a really good deal at 1700 bucks, I can afford that. You press purchase. No, you can't because the dealership fee is $30,000. It's insane. So uh, just bear that in mind. Also, a place that doesn't charge sales tax or any of that is Joe's Junk. If you want to make your life hard. <laughs> um, all these do look like mostly complete cars and they are mostly complete cars. But, uh, you know, like some don't have uh, uh, all the air in the tires or they don't have a radiator or they don't have suspension they're going to be very bouncy you're going to have a hard time especially if it's something called back pain that's a good sign from joe that you're it's going to be a challenge this is barely a car so it's the lagrand barely this is actually a good little piccolina right here i like i like this one because it's air cooled you don't have to worry about a radiator but you don't have shocks dude so i mean i think that's it dude I think that's I think that's about it for UI and where to buy your first car when you're just getting going. So if you're just jumping into RLS and you don't really know what to do, I think this is a pretty solid setup. It's got your necessities. You know where you're at on the map. You know this green dot signifies where your car is or where a one of your cars is, at least if you have multiple cars. And you know, you could see like, oh, I still have a car spawned in over there at the Chinatown garage. Just so you don't forget. Um, so now we know how fast we're supposed to be going, uh, to not get in trouble with the police. This will tell us if we are in trouble with the police and we know how much horsepower our car makes. That says 88 kilograms. Cause you're little, when you're walking around, you weigh 88 kilograms. Now we jump in this car. We know it makes 234 horsepower and we know it has a turbo because it has a boost gauge. Uh, just cause it has a boost gauge doesn't mean it's turbo. It might be a supercharger. It just 
you have boost if you have a boost gauge if there's no boost gauge you don't have any sort of boost all right i think that's it i'm trying to keep this one short and simple i just want you to have fun playing my favorite game all right we'll see you later i love you god loves your coop Ugh, mush mouth i'm trying to speak too fast i love you god loves you cooper loves you bye